If you would like to improve your game for a very cheap price, try Fail Grips and don't forget to use Saba for a 10% discount. What is going on guys, welcome back to episode 2 to a noob's guide to Dark Souls 3. Basically in this episode, there's going to be a lot of bloodstains around this area. It's by the Firelink Shrine, it is the NPC with the Yushi Katana. A very good weapon, especially if you're going to go for a dex build. There's a very cheeky and cheesy way to killing this guy, which I think might be set up by the developers. And that is to basically try and get him off the cliff. You can see him up there, he's nice and gandy. He will do a lot of damage, so make sure you have, it, like, put your Estus as much as you can up. Um, um, if you want, you can do hand your weapon. It depends. I prefer to do the rapid to try and get him off the cliff. But once he kind of goes to the side, just make sure to keep attacking him. And he might backstep off the cliff. But if you're running out of stamina, back up because he will wreck you. And you see, give him time and he'll go back. For some reason, his AI keeps bringing him over there. And just keeps slashing him. Make sure you don't fall off the cliff yourself. And down he goes and he's dead. As you can see, he didn't drop the Yushi Katana. It isn't anywhere. So what you're going to have to do is run back to the Firelink Shrine. Rest at the bonfire. And come back and as you can see, the glowing white ball of an item is up where he originally spawned in the first place. Uh, this is just kind of to um, restart the world, I guess. I don't know how to explain it. But just that's how this game works. Um, that's basically w the easiest way to kill him. Killing him legitly will result in you dying a lot of times. Especially if you just after killing the first boss as I am after just doing. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Sabo White 10 Please like and subscribe.